All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where we are back here on Planet Humble, where, oh boy, a lot has happened off camera. Not a whole lot for our terraformation index. I mean, we're still working on getting towards the lake uh, stage. We do have liquid water now, and I am starting to see the beginnings of where these lakes will be, which is quite nice. But yeah, honestly, I didn't do too much in the realm of adding to our terraformation index i was mainly gathering materials getting more power set up as we did unlock the tier 2 nuclear reactor and i've built four of those so far and plan on making some more soon and yeah beyond that did a lot of resource gathering and construction our base is much different than it was last time. Uh, for one, you'll notice the entirety of down here now is all storage. I moved our uh, veg tubes out here and put the best plants we have in them. So that at least, I guess, was helping with the terraformation index. We then did, of course, have this little biodome area, which I have expanded the farm within, so we no longer have any food issues, which is good. And we are also starting to produce some mushrooms, too, for bioplastic, because we did unlock, if I go down this hallway I created, we unlock the bio lab. So I did go ahead and construct that, so we can now make fertilizer, bioplastics, etc. And I guess I actually did double our heating. I decided to make a heat closet. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought this was funny. And yeah. And then I built that tower I mentioned I've been meaning to build for a while and made it into my bedroom. So yeah, we've got our lovely bed there, a little desk overlooking our facility, a nice couch overlooking the area that will one day become a lake because you can see there, there's the beginning of some water starting to pool. I am looking forward to seeing how much that will actually pool. And I'm hoping we're we're high enough up. <laughs> we should be. We should be. Now, the other major things I did for our base here is I did construct the launch pad over there. I haven't launched any rockets yet. In fact, I should have everything for us to launch a rocket here first thing to get going with so we have the map finally. And I did build, we unlocked, and I constructed the uh, rover. I'm a little disappointed in the rover, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> when that update came out, we were, of course, testing it on our existing world that already had a breathable atmosphere. So I just kind of assumed that the rover would have a breathable atmosphere like, you know, our shelters do. It does not. It does not. It's still worth having because even at its base level, we have a lot of container space, which means we can stay out adventuring for longer. But yeah, I'm actually very disappointed that this thing doesn't have the ability to, uh, you know, create oxygen. That seems like something that would be very, very important for this. I'm not remembering, though, if there might be a uh, thing we can upgrade it with later on. If, uh, if there is, we don't have it yet. We'll have to unlock it. But yeah, that's very disappointing. I was really excited when I got this because I figured it would change everything for us and allow us to stay out much longer without having to build um, our little shelters that we do all over the place. But yeah, so far, not panning out how I'd hoped. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I do? Oh yeah, I did finish constructing this into a complete second story and did get our uh, little rotational array up there, and I haven't looked at the interface for the messages yet. I figure we'll do that here today to see if we have any other messages. And since we did finally get more iridium, thanks to that new material we're able to, uh, you know, put in the crushers down there, I was able to build the tier one and tier two jetpack. So we have some more general mobility, which is very, very nice. Uh, other than that? Yeah, oh yeah, I bought the shredder. <laughs> so we can just destroy things, which I have destroyed a lot. We have so many materials now uh, that it's actually at the point where I have had to shred quite a few things. But yeah, I love our little base. It's, it's, uh, it's growing into something nice. I enjoy it. I'm very happy. Oh, there was actually one thing. I'll show off real quick since it's just right over here. There was this cave that was uh, iced over originally. 
and I decided to just take a quick look off cam to see if it had opened up any, and it had, and thankfully it had more of that uranite inside of it. I did decide to go in here without doing it on cam because it seems to dead end quite quickly, so it really wasn't much to explore. But besides the uranite or whatever it's called, there's also uranium in here, which is pretty nifty. And eventually, it looks like the ice will open up the place even more. I think it'll probably connect in with some of the other caves we found. Uranite. It is uranite. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like there's uh, some more robots and stuff over here that haven't been thawed out yet. So I'm intrigued to see how that'll go. You know, I'm going to leave these. I actually think I have... I'll take that. I think I'm kind of full on all those other things right now. I think we're actually pretty full on uranium. All right. Well, good times. So our resource issues have been getting better, which is good. Uh, I'm a little bit sad because I did try the drill both in here and in the other cave where we found the uraninite. And sadly, the current drill that we have does not allow for the mining of uraninite. It does, however, do bauxite. Uh, so I have two drills currently going over there to do that so that we can make sure we get plenty of aluminum. Uh, I did have one briefly over here by our base, but it was just doing the uh, dolomite, which we get all the same materials from dolomite with bauxite. So, yeah, I just moved it over there. So we've got two drills doing that. They still grab the other materials as well, the other base materials, but, you know, the occasional bauxite is quite nice. Okay, seeds, there we go. Put those in there for now. We don't have a use for squash yet, but soon. And, yeah, I think that's it for all of that. So let's get everything rolling on a rocket. So what do we need to build the GPS rocket so we can finally have a map of this world? Because I would like to know where we are in the grand scheme of things here. Might as well just send up a tier two. What's the point of having a tier one? Uh, we're gonna need two microchip compasses and a rocket engine and three super alloy. Well, that's easy. I mean, I've still got this in here that I haven't moved over yet because our current storage is full of super alloy over here. Uh, what do I need for the U? Aluminum, silicon, and magnesium. And actually, again, we have a lot of that full right now, but there was some of you in here. So need you, we're gonna need you, we're gonna need you, you, and you. Nice. Uh, da -da and there we go. And then we needed, oh, I needed a, I've made a couple of rocket engines for our jetpacks and I've now forgotten what I need. Two uranium and super alloy and an iridium rod. I think we've got the iridium rod. Oh, I guess I could have picked up that uranium earlier. Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought that this was full because that was the last thing I did off camera was build those new generators. This was full of uranium. And uranium bars, but then yeah, I had to make uh, twelve uranium rods for the four reactors that I created. <laughs> good times, good times. Okay, okay, so let's get that. Uh, I accidentally I didn't grab an extra super alloy, did I? No. Yeah, okay, well, we'll grab another one on our way out. And there we go. We'll be able to send up a GPS tier two satellite. Nice. Okay, and our first rocket launch on this new world. Sweet. Yay, launch! Go, my pretty, go and provide me with map information. Yay. You know, I'm now wondering if I should also send up a tier one. As I'm now, I just remembered why there's the different tiers. They add in different zoom levels. I'm thinking the tier two, though, should be more than adequate for now. What else do we have at the moment? A magnetic field one, pressure modifier, and a heat multiplier. Ooh, that one would be nice. 
I need more Iridium though. Even though we have gotten a lot better on our resources, Iridium is still a problem because there's just so much of it. And you're not always guaranteed an Iridium when you throw in the Uranonite in there. Oh, also, I have no idea what that thing is, but apparently that's how I get crystals. I, <laughs> I have no idea. That appeared when I built the tier three one of these. I have no clue what you are. <laughs> Or where to find you. But apparently that's how we get those crystals. Alright. Okay, let's look at the map. Hey. Oh, hey, the tier one uh, took anyways. Good, 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 good. Alright, so we can't zoom out more until we have a tier three and four. So let's see. We got... Is that a... There looks like to be a crash ship on top of that mountain over there. How do we get on top there? Also, can we actually get down there? I just thought it was a, just a horrifying abyss of nothingness. Hmm. Oh, while gathering, um, I'm forgetting the name of it, the blue ore. I did see another place we do, I do want to go and check out today, another biodome over here in this cool spire biome. It looks like that's actually the furthest north. All right, then we got some sort of pillory biome over here. A maze-esque thing over with the lava. It's actually a much smaller world, it seems, than the uh, main game map. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, much smaller, actually. Oh, my. But there is... I did actually think I mentioned it in uh, last time, or the time before, that it does feel like a smaller world, but there seems to be a lot more verticality, a lot more going up and down around places. Okay, okay. But yeah, I mean, we've explored a little bit over here. We haven't really gone back into here yet. Definitely haven't gone to the lava E area. And then it looks like we got a lot of stuff over here. And this over here. And that's really it for the world. Interesting. All right. Well, before we actually take the truck uh, out to go and explore that thing, I've been saving these while off cam. Oh, I did explore the ship a little more, looking for resources. And I found some extra spacesuits. I tried them on, I did not care for them. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of chips to, to unlock, though. Almost forgot about those. Tier 2 blueprint pinning? Meh, I never even build the tier 1. Oh, look, fence. <laughs> Ooh, tier 3 agility boots. <gasps> that was the thing I was complaining about the vehicle for. Well, we need to build that. <laughs> Display case. Oh, hey, cool. We, I didn't even realize we didn't have those yet. Hey, map microchip. That's a good one, too. Oh, hey, spacesuit display. And I do have some extra spacesuits now. Next and final. Oh, speed increase. Neat. I don't have obsidian. Dang. I mean, we know where to find it. The lava biome. You know, I actually do have sulfur right now. I even made a thing. Yes, we can make this real quick. We can make you. <laughs> we could be even faster. Tier 3 agility boost. Just got to build a you. And then back over here. What was the rest? Two super alloy. Let me grab it from outside again. Just trying to get through all this. <laughs> hey, nice. All right. Tier three of you. Beautiful. Okay, let's go see what we need for the unlimited oxygen in the ship. The thing I was literally just complaining about. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my God. It, oh, crap. Never mind. I have no idea where to find zeolite. We have only found one. Zeolite so far, and I used it for one of my other upgrades that I already did. 
So I definitely don't have four more sitting around. Oh man. Kind of annoying actually that that is such a far thing down the tree for the vehicle though. Like that's expensive for something that frankly the rover should just do on its own. But again, I didn't realize off of when we first tested it because, you know, we just we were already on a world with a breathable atmosphere. So didn't even think to test it. But Yeah, that's actually pretty annoying, honestly. God, now I'm gonna find more zeolite in the world. Alright, well let's jump in the rover though and I should probably grab everything for a uh, uh, a thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, two, three, one, and I'm gonna need to grab two titanium. There we go. Guess we're still gonna need that. <laughs> In we go, though. All right, let's roll. Ooh, hey, more water's pooling over here now. Nice, it was just that bit there, but now we got the, another little puddle there. I really hope it, this turns out to be a nice little lake over here. Boy, and yeah, I really do need to find a better source of iridium. <laughs> uh, there is still more uraninite out over there. Nope, this is not the way to go, is it? I gotta go over here. There is still more uraninite that I haven't gathered from inside that cave, but it, uh... Ooh, wait, what the? Oh, what the balls are you? Oh, you're like one of the special chests. This is like its version of the golden chest. Ooh, holy crap, Humblia? 600%? Damn. Oh, it's still just iron, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put you all in there. But yeah, we definitely still need a better source of iridium. That's that's my biggest bottleneck right now. Is iridium. What we really need to do is unlock the uh, next tiers of drills, and hopefully I can drill for the uraninite. Inside that cave, that would be ideal. Because, yeah, that main cave where we discovered it in originally, I have almost sucked that whole place dry of urine tonight. <laughs> that little cave uh, that I showed off earlier in the episode, also, I took most of it. There's still a little bit left, apparently, from the one that I found earlier, but... Yeah, I really did a number on its urine tonight, too. <laughs> and yeah, that's the, the, the only place I know where to get iridium right now. Because, yeah, I could really use that speed upgrade. Look at how slow we go. I'm definitely quicker with my, uh, with my jetpack. But still. God, yeah, let's take a break here so we can uh, get air. <laughs> and then actually head into that little biome over there. There we go. Some nice air. Yeah, I think that'll be, with Iridium, I think that'll be the next major thing I do, is engine upgrades for this. Granted, I still need to find more freaking Zeolite. There's gotta be a cave for it or something somewhere, right? Whoop, mellow rock! <laughs> Didn't even see it as it was coming over the hill. Alright, so yeah, there was another biodome thing down here, so let's head on through. I should also probably grab Osmium. That's the name of the stuff. Grab some more Osmium while I'm here. And hello, container. Ooh. <laughs> Always get a little bit, uh... Hmm, that's not bad. Always get a little bit wonky whenever I get out of this thing. It makes me a little bit disoriented. <laughs> Alright, where was that thing that I saw? I think it was over here? Another robot. Ooh. And one doing explosives that doesn't seem to have blown itself up. Hello, I'll take you, even though I really don't have a use for you yet. 
Have I already looted you with a chip? I don't remember that. You know, I actually think I probably did because I don't see as much osmium over there. So I must have seen this one off cam. Can't complete activating explosive device, and yet it's still mostly intact. Nifty. Hey. Yeah, I guess I must have over here already. <laughs> I mean, well, it's right there. All right, where was this biodome thing? I saw it in the distance. I think it might be behind this spire, and I think I went the wrong way. What the balls are you? You know, that looks suspiciously like that thing on the crusher. I guess we have to get to a certain stage of terraforming before it becomes a thing? Weird. <laughs> ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, good, good, good. Because I really need to build the um, oxygen shelter. I am running low. Okay. Looks like we've got more robots. And a boop. And a boop. And a boop. Perfect timing. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Check out the robot first. Oh, not a robot. Uh, just like a little power station for them. Oh, perfect. Oh, I needed you. I don't need you. I mean, I'll definitely want to grab all these different seeds and all later, but for now, meh. All right, what's inside? Oh, got to break down the door. Oh, so, okay, it's just another one of these. All right, all right, all right. Well, that means... Haha, <laughs> more chips! Yes! Offline, of course. Potentially only one chip? Two chips! A lot of potential circuit boards, and looks like we're gonna get a third. Nice! Oh! Oh! There we go. Offline, of course. <laughs> I still wish we could build those robots. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, we need blues. Let's go grab some more of you. I don't really need you right now. We don't have a lot of recipes and con for osmium, but still good to have. Just to be on the safe side of things. You know what? I think we're probably gonna take this haul back. Because I want to unlock the things, the chips. I forgot I have a jetpack that makes me go faster. There we go. Oh, God, yeah, I'm much faster than my truck. <laughs> well, with that engine we found, though, that should be enough to give us uh, the next level of speed upgrade. Yeah, let's pop all you in there. And you know what I'm going to do? Since we can use that magical button to call it back, I'm, I'm going to do that. Because mainly I'm curious if uh, I'm hoping all the cargo comes with. <laughs> it's going to be an experiment. I've never tried something like this before. We have used the callback button when we tested the rover when it came out. But I tested it twice and one of the times it got stuck and glitched. So... <laughs> I'm hoping that's not the case, but I am definitely much quicker than uh, than our rover. So, yeah, we'll just fly home. Wee. <laughs> oh, having a jetpack is good. You know, I was so happy when the rover update came around, but I'm, I'm becoming less and less happy with it as time's gone on. <laughs> Purely because it's nowhere near as useful as I thought it was. That oxygen generation uh, module, for instance, is such an expensive upgrade for something that really should have come standard in that thing. I mean, what the hell's the point of such a big and expensive rover, rover but can't even make oxygen? Ah, oh, crap, you're full of mostly junk. Oh, God, okay. Here we go. 
Take those box sites. And all of you. There we go. Go throw all this in the trash when I get home. <laughs> Except for the box site. We'll use that. That's, um, that's aluminum. Which I am also full on right now, so I don't really need the box site going. But we do at least have a good source of aluminum these days. If only we could get a better source of the iridium. And... Oh, wait. Boxite, boxite, boxite. Then... All of you go in here. Actually, wait, hold on. Well, do you need besides a... I mean, I doubt it's going to be what I had. God damn it, more zeolite. <laughs> Never mind. We're not getting the tier one upgrades anytime soon. What the hell? Why is so much of that requiring zeolite? Oh my god. Well, I'll put the engine in miscellaneous for now. So I have no source of zeolite. We found one of the weird little roots popping out of the world. Code, what do we get? Tier 2 inventory, and that's actually pretty nice. Tier 2 equipment slot. Ooh, tier 3 jetpack. What are you going to take? No, actually, we can, we, do that. we can do that. We can do that. It was the iridium that I was wondering about, but we did get a little bit more iridium over here. But first... Boop. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was a little worried about that. Yay. With my luck, it all would have just plopped on the ground. Oh, look, my two osmium that I have. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't feel like wasting the iridium right now. I can deconstruct those and get the powder we need. All right, where's that super crazy plant? Heck yeah. Uh, you go there for now. Uh, you go there for now. Make sure you go there for now, too. Generally have uh, bio stuff set up right now. <laughs> no. We were able to, de to deconstruct those previously, right? <laughs> Something weird happened to these. As I know, we actually—I have it on camera. We accidentally deconstructed one of them before. I think something really weird and wonky happened with the bombs because we've been having a number of problems with them as of late. Huh. Well, you get the fancy one. There we go. Six hundred percent. Hell yeah. Humblia seed. Nice. You go there. I don't need you. <sighs> yeah, I want the tier 3 upgrade. <laughs> there goes all the rest of our iridium. One, two, three, four. There we are. Oop. Oh boy. Alright. And then we needed what else? I think it was a couple of super alloy. Let's go double check. Oh, one super alloy and two osmium. <laughs> Alright. Still, still grabbing from out there, considering my other container's full, and I, I feel weird throwing super alloy into the shredder. <laughs> hey, there we go. Now we're even faster. Well, let's take a look at this finally. All right, so that's our initial message. Yeah. So we also have this one, your planet specifications. 
Star for, uh, corporate ownership, star form robotics, habitability level null, not anymore. Sector Ezitiel Prime, history first acquired by star form robotics. There's now a dispute in the Galactic Accreditation Court over its ownership. Planet Humble is located in the Ezitiel Prime Sector, a pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships traveling between big space ports. Sector has 842 planets, 1, or 13,511 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. The planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. Neat. Oh. Oh, these are the these are the different messages we found. Okay, I for, I forgot about that. And offline. <laughs> Always love the offline one. All right, so nothing really new there. All right, what I want to do, what I want to do while we're still going here today, uh, first, you know, what? harvest. Yep. Yep. There we go. We're gonna go out doing a little bit more exploration, but just with our jetpack because, yeah. <laughs> Until we get, we need zeolite. If we once we get the zeolite and I can actually have oxygen inside that damn thing, then the rover plus speed upgrades will be great. But until that point, it's kind of useless. All right. So what we're gonna do? So I wanna go up this way. Oh, we got a third puddle now. Nice. You know what I also need to do that I should have grabbed? Materials for air. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important. I will be able to find everything we need, so that's not a problem, but... So just one more iron, one more titanium, and that should be it. For our standard... Yeah, we're good. Sweet. All right, let's go up this way. And we turned left when we first explored this direction. We're gonna go right. See what's what. No, we're already at the half hour mark, but I was hoping to get to a little bit more exploration today, but got sidetracked by things. And that rover was, oh, sweet. And that rover was way slower than I thought it was. <laughs> And we've got more of these colonnades, which more things able to be blown the balls up. Once I get the those working again. That leads over to the sulfur biome from the looks of it. Ooh, new seeds. Ooh, fancy thing. And water starting to form. All right, you know what? Let's put a thing up here. Can I put it on top of these rocks? We got a jetpack. We can get up here. Heck yeah. Easy to spot it from a distance, too. There we go. So that, if we actually go back up here real quick, since that's the sulfur biome, we might come across our other... shelter super quick. Uh, Yeah, it should be right down. Yep, right there. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to need more materials, though. I uh, need titanium. Don't need sulfur. All right, now we just need three iron. No, that's all dolomite. I don't like how similar the dolomite and the iron look to one another. <laughs> oh, it always gets me. Especially when we're in a yellowish tinted place like this. Just makes it even worse. Oh, you're sulfur. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, there was a storage containers back there, too. Hey. Uh, move and unload star form robotics technology upon our arrival. Last status unidentified fog seems to slow us down and break us apart. Alright, well there we go. We got you. Ho 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 ho, hello you. Nice. Oh my god, that's gonna help me build so many things. Well, a couple of things. And what about you? We'll take you. The rest will be left for now. I mean, I'll come back to get this 
later. The other ones we found back that way, I've actually been slowly going back to off cam every so often. So it's still going to take us a while to get through them properly, but... It looks like we got some more ice that may be protecting caves down that way. Which, besides that first ice cave, we really haven't been finding many other caves. Oh, this looks like it'll be a real cool area down the road. I mean, this is already flooding with some water. Might become quite the cool lake. Nifty. Ooh. All to, oh, 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 another engine, yes! I don't need, well, yeah, sure, I'll take you. Uh, oh, hey, urinite out in the open. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh my God, I really did need another source of urinite. I'm gonna build another habitat thing over here next to the ship. And it'll be useful for that area too. Wow, this ship is, not, it's like with the other ship. It's not crashed, it's landed. I assume it's probably from the same Starform Robotics Company. Oh. Oh god. Okay, how do I get in? Hello? Can I get in? Ah, yeah, we got a hole. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> oh my god, let me use the ship. Let me use the ship. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be there. Can I get in through here? Oh, yep. They didn't have windows. Okay, so I guess we can't use the ship. <laughs> Aw, oh, sweet. Aw, oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, that was a good find. Heck yeah. Oh, I haven't built the tier two deconstruction ship. Okay, so well, this place is gonna be a little bit of a mystery for now then. Nifty. Well, we got some good stuff from in here. So that's nice. All right. Well, I want to do one more thing before we end today. Ooh, oh, God. It's so dark here, even with my flashlight. Damn. I want to go over here and get, like, a piece or two of obsidian. Ooh, fancy. Oh, the nice, fun fire. And then, yeah, this will be a good place for us to end today. And more bauxite over here. Oh, not seeing any obsidian, though. And this whole time, I've not seen another freaking zeolite. Oh, hello, cave. Oh, boy, you're going to need to be explored. Well, that's not a today thing. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no, not silicon. More of that. I'll take you and you. Huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing any obsidian that should be around here. Interesting. It might be in that cave. Oh, I don't want to fly over the lava. I know we can with our jetpack, but I still don't like it. I don't want to. Terrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here then. Off cam, I'll get back to base. Uh, do some more construction of things. Oh, God, yeah, our two bottlenecks now. Wait, hold on. No, that's just iron. Our zeolite and iridium still. Did I just... No, that's magnesium. Which is highly unfortunate. We need to find source, better sources of both of those things, which right now we just don't have. I think next time, uh, next episode, we'll go check out that cave and also check the rest of the sulfur biome. And then may... Oh, yeah, I forgot to check what's all the way back there. It looks like another ship or something. I do like that those ships are all, like, intact and landed, though. Well, yeah, we'll just have to work on getting into them. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode where, yeah, we'll explore more of the world. But until that time, thank you for watching, as always. Well, have a good one.